How's it going, everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez, a.k.a. Big D. Here. It's time to review Gotham, Season 2, Episode 3, titled The Last Laugh. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, go to fox.com slash Gotham. Watch the full episode there. Let's get started, because this episode, uh, it's a very big one. You just can't laugh it off. <laughs> Either way, here we go. Uh, should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you pros, cons, final score. I don't know if I just said all that. And uh, let's get right to it, baby. Let's get right into this. Let's dig into this. And um, let's see who has the last laugh in here. First off, spread the word. Bullock and Jim always throwing people out of the windows because, you know, they know there's trash bags under there. You know, they're just not going to kill them. So, uh, everybody. Anyway, so they're, they're breaking windows. You know how much money that building has to pay for the windows? Dicks. So they're doing that, and Barbara and Tabitha, they're kissing. They have a little thing going on. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I, I like this show a little bit more better. I think season two is a little bit more better. Okay. Yeah, okay. And Theo's like, <laughs> my sister, she's, um, let's just say she's a tiger. More than a tiger, like, oh, I messed it up. More like a tigress, I was going to say. But uh, I was like, holy crap, like, I never knew Barbara was like that in a sort of sense where I was like, she's both like, she's, she's like, she's really good at manipulating, even though she was manipulated, so that was really interesting. Gordon is angry and very loud. I'm like, he's like a commissioner now. He's like, okay, you, what are you doing? All right. And, and then, he, and then uh, here's uh, Lee, and he's like, what? Like, damn, dude, you're like a really pissed off commissioner, man. One day you're going to have the mustache and, uh, where's Batman? Give me Batman. Where's Bruce? Ah, ah. And he's like really like, ah, oh, you know me. Ah, oh, Barbara. Ah, you know, Oracle. All that when Batman's like, Oracle, your father. Send me the location. Like, yeah, like, I, it's Arkham, Arkham Knight, man. So that's going on. Jerome visits his dad, the old blind fortune teller. And he ends up taunting him, telling him the story. Kind of like the Dark Knight where he was like, Remember when I was young? And you told me. <laughs> you're nothing. You're nothing. You're just. You're just. Filth on the earth. <laughs> Remember that, father? And, and then he's like. You are a disease. You are a curse. Your legacy will only bring death. Ha, ha, ha. And he was like, he's probably like bad breath or something, but still, he was like, oh no. And then, you know, I don't even know if he brushes his teeth, honestly, but still, he does the whole laugh and everything, and I literally was like, dude, this guy is fantastic. He, he knocked it out of the ballpark again. And he ends up killing his dad. Gordon arrives, there's gas going on, they get knocked out. They capture Gordon and Bullock. There's a fundraiser going on. Jerome is the magician. He has a beard and everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the great Rudolfo. So, Bruce and Selena have a little moment together. You know, they're going to do some stuff later on. So, well, when they're older, obviously, because they have that little on and off thing. And, like, oh, you're a villain, but I'm actually not a villain. I'm an anti-hero. And then that goes down. So, anyway, Bruce, he, uh, he gets called up. I'm like, damn, the Joker's calling out Bruce. Wait until they get a load of me. Anyway, so I was like, you. And then he comes out and everything. And then, uh, oh man, they just, he's like, he chops him up, not like it dies. I don't know why he didn't actually kill it. Bruce when he had the chance. He's like, well, they say he has a split personality. <laughs> You're so funny, man. Anyway. So Alfred and Lee, man. Alfred, Alfred's really rapist style right now. He's like, hello, Lee. Hi. You look really nice. Thanks. What are you wearing? What? What are you wearing? A dress? Okay. Okay. 
That's how awkward it felt. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh my gosh, literally. Just the way Alfred was like, he was just like, he totally wants to get with me. And I'm like, damn, Jim's already hitting it in the show and outside the show, dude. So, damn. I'm like, woohoo. Alfred, I like you, man. I like you. You're really nice. Anyway, uh, so Lee calls Gordon and she gets chloroform just like that. She's like, oh, hey, Barbara's. Who actually took her? Who? Wait, who chloroformed her? Who did chloroform her? I don't remember. Oh, it's probably just some guard, okay. Uh, so anyway, they uh, kill the mayor. He's like, none of you are making it out alive tonight. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and he just goes on and they start killing everyone, start shooting. Gordon arrives and he's talking on the phone. He's like, hey, Jimbo. Oh, well, you know, we're just uh, messing around. Well, uh, here's, uh, she's uh, over there, and... <laughs> oh, 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 you know, Jumbo, it's just, uh, it's nothing personal. <laughs> just business. <laughs> How's that? Was that really good? I think I did good. I, that was pretty good, right? You agree? You know, sort of that type of sense going down. And, uh, so Theo goes up, and he's like, hey, you. You should stop this. You think we're scared? What is your name? Theo. Theo Gallivant. And you, you should be. He just looks at the camera and everything. It's like, you're so fake. You're so fake. That's actually his acting skills. No, I'm kidding. He's, anyway, so he gets knocked out. Jerome is messing around. Like I said, he's going to kill Alfred. And Bruce comes out. And uh, Gordon... Gordon is, uh, he comes out and they end up fighting. Alfred gets his gun. Like, bam, 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 bam. So they're, they're fighting and everything. And I like how it's all slow-mo. He's like, <laughs> like, that was really nice. And, uh, anyway, Theo kills Jerome. I know. I know. When I saw Theo get up, I was like, yeah, Jerome's gonna get killed. And it, I told you last week, I called it. He's gonna die. It's called The Last Laugh. He's only a guest star. He's not a series regular. So he was like, <laughs> No, he didn't say that, but <laughs> I thought he would say that. So, you know, Theo ends up getting the praise. He gets interviewed. Joker is in the morgue. Alfred and Lee, he's like, Well, Lee. Yeah? It was nice having a good chat with you. Am I swaying? Are you ready to go home? Yeah, Alfred, I'm ready to go home. Oh, uh, Jim. Yeah. Wow. Wow, you were really good tonight, Jim. You were really good. Kudos, man. Kudos. Thanks, Batman. Well, Lee, kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. And then they end up kissing and all that. I just saw she was like, kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me! And it, was, uh, like, it was earlier in the episode. Anyway, that goes down. And uh, Bullock visits Penguin Man. Woo! I still see you holding Fish Mooney's um umbrella. Yes, Fish Mooney. Oh, no, Miss Mooney. I like your wig, Miss Mo uh, Fish Mooney. Not Miss Mooney. Fish Mooney. I'm sorry. And uh, everyone's laughing like the Joker at the end. Barbara's with Theo. And uh, Tabitha sees. Bitch is angry. But no, they're the, the Joker. Like, there's new Jokers out there. And he's like... <laughs> I'm not even shaking right. <laughs> and he's just laughing. Oh, man. This is going to be a bad move for Fox. You kill Jerome, we riot. The hell's wrong with you, Fox? This John here are my pros. I'm going to go fast with it. I've, I, I, I've already kept you long enough. First off, the ending of the episode. Although it's teasing other Jokers, other iterations, other copycats, that ending was pretty nice, guys. I'm going to say. Uh, as well, the Jerome... Ladies and gentlemen, give a clap to give a clap uh, give a clap to the actor who plays Jerome and his laugh. And then, just makes me smile. 
<laughs> oh, seriously, man. He's amazing in there. Uh, the opening, man. The opening was really nice, too. Spread the word. It's like, that. remember, kids, don't do drugs. Uh, as well, Bullock. I'm happy that Bullock's back, dude. He didn't get to do much this episode, but going and visiting the Penguin, almost getting shot. Uh, as always, Bullock is fun. He always brings that comedic side as well to Jim. The directing of this episode wasn't bad at all. I really enjoyed the directing. You know, nothing wrong really to report. Jerome's dad. It's good to see the old fortune teller back, even though they killed him off. It was good to see him for an episode. Get to see what he was up to, and I guess they blame him for breaking him out of Arkham Asylum. But later on, they'll find out that Theo was the one who did it. Uh, the dialogue within this episode, man, is what makes this show so freaking good again. Is the dialogue and the, the 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 monologues that the Joker says or that. Bruce, or Bruce, no, excuse me, Bruce Wayne, and Jim says, uh, the humor, man, it's very funny, I laughed a lot, the magician, all that role was totally freaking funny, and, uh, very well writing, Alfred, and, uh, Alfred and Lee, man, Alfred and Lee, oh, man, oh, man, I'm, I'm scared for Lee now, oh, well, the magician, I told you the whole act. Theo, dude, Theo was really boss in this episode, man. I, he's so manipulative, and you know not to trust him, and he probably would have killed the cannibal if Joker wouldn't have. And Gordon, Gordon's very angry, man. I love how Gordon had that anger and commissioner thing, but now we have a new character coming next week played by uh, the guy from The Shield. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Why did I forget his name? The guy from Fantastic Four played the thing, Michael Chiklis. He's coming in, man. That's going to be very nice. The only cons, really, Jerome dying. I don't need to explain that. Jerome died. Are you on meth? As well, you know, the, it was no shock when he died. You could have predicted it. There was no... It's called the last laugh, for God's sake. You could tell he was going to die. You, you can't have that Joker on forever when you think about it because it, it would get old after 23 episodes of seeing the same him. But still, it's just so predictable, man. There was nothing of a shock when he got stabbed. It was kind of like, oh, yeah, I, I saw that coming. It was like, no, why? I'm going to tweet about it. You know, it's none of that, man. Uh, Tabitha, if she's going to be jealous the whole season, then honestly... I'm going to be super pissed off if she's just going to be jealous the whole season of Theo and that fight. That's what's going to break them apart just because of a girl, Barbara. She's not even Harley Quinn. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give this episode of uh, Season 2, Episode 3, The Last Lab, a A-, minus, secondarily a solid B. I thought it was a great episode, man. I honestly did. Uh, I, I didn't hate it. I think it was really great. And last week was an A- minus as well. So, man, if they keep this up, man, they're going to be on a roll for sure. Comment down below and let me know what you think about Gotham Season 2, Episode 3, The Last Laugh. And I'll see you all next week for uh, more when Michael Chiklis arrives. It's going to be them going after the Penguin, this new task force. We'll see what goes on. Great episode, guys. You heard the pros. You heard the cons. You know the cons were a little amp. Eh, but other than that, it's still a great episode, man. I really was surprised. And uh, they're really not. They, they picked up a notch, many notches up this season. So, see you next week, man. Spocky with you always.